morning everyone welcome to this edition of doc training web series today i'll be demonstrating on how to create a site collection within your sharepoint online so it is very important that you need to have a sharepoint admin credentials so in order to do that let's go click on this button on my left hand side right and then you need to go to the admin panel All right, now what you need to do is go to the bottom and click on admin centers and then select SharePoint. You might get a pop up to log in again, but yeah, it depends, right? Okay, so right now I'm on my SharePoint admin center. Uh, as you see here, I have different set of site collections that's been created in my SharePoint online, right? So in order to create a new one, all you need to do is click on the new button and select private site collection. All right, so now I'm gonna give it a name. Right, so just give it a name and the website address is the same it's good it says slash sites and just i'm just going to call it doc 20 and the template you'll be able to just select the templates right you can also select the languages there's plenty of languages that you can really select from right and the te template ranges from collaboration templates you have an enterprise publishing and also the custom template, right? So for the demonstration purposes, I'm gonna select team site, and this is always set as default. It's gonna show you the classic experience. The next thing that you need to do is select the time zone, which is very important. All right, and then the next thing is you need to select the admin. Now here, it shows up on how many number of resources you can allocate for each site. Now, now right now what I have, it's, it's actually overcrowded. I mean, I don't have any more resources available, but a standard site where you can, uh, you know, you can allo allocate up to 300 resources, right? And then press on okay, 50 or 300, depends, you know, it's, it's still fine. All right, so now, You've already added the site collection. It could take uh, for probably 15 minutes to add add now. So now you can see over here. As you see, it's swirling over here. It's actually creating one. So this is my new site collection. All right, so now I have the site, new site created. It says new over here, right? So what I want to do is I'm going to check on the site created right now and then I'm going to select on properties actually shows me all the details it's a title the primary data all the details how many sub sites what's the storage usage and is there a user, uh, resource usage warning level setup so all these details can be captured over here also what I can do is I can also enable external sharing for the site now let's say you need to have third-party users to get an access to your internal portal, right? So in order to do that, you select the site, click on share, and then select these options. So the first one is obviously, you know, it's it's restricted to your organization. And um, that also you can allow sharing only when the external users are existing in your share organization's directory. And um, the third option is obviously, you know, for the allowing external users who accept sharing invitations and sign in as an authenticated user. And all the last one is allow sharing with all external users by using anonymous access links, which is not recommended. I would really recommend the third option. And then I can select on save. Great. So right now I have enabled external sharing as well. So what's next? Next thing what I need to do is, yeah, obviously, let me show you how to delete 
site collection. So select again over here and then click on delete. And obviously our site collection is gonna remain on your recyclable for 30 days. So it's always good that you have a backup. Sometimes if you have a change in mind, you can always go back to your recycle bin and then you restore. So I'm gonna delete this. Perfect. So now I have deleted a SharePoint site. So this comes to an end to the SharePoint tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Doc365, and I'll be coming up with more and more videos. So stay tuned. Have a great day.